All right, guys, let's get to it. First impressions. This is the React Gen 9. And, oh man, is this something to behold, really. Um, no visible hardware, full titanium construction, M390, um, of course, done by Riyadh, the top uh, knife maker out of China, and with, oh, I don't have the, the tool, man, I, I forgot, it comes with a tool, of course, uh, to open this uh, like a like a mill you stick the tool in there and you turn it and turn it and the the handle starts opening up as you unscrew of course the pivot which runs on ceramic bearings smooth it's not drop shutty but it's just smooth and this is a perfect EDC size knife. I'm going to shut up and I'm going to go to measurements because I end up skipping. I, I get excited about talking about certain knives. And so I get excited and, and man, do I screw up. <laughs> okay, full size. It's a seven and what? Seven and seven? 7.7, 7. 7, yeah, around there. Inches of length. The blaze um, length is at 330. The cutting edge at the uh, at 3 31, 315 around there. Um, let's see, closed, closed for four, almost four and a half right there, almost four and a half, like four four. 445 around there. How does it carry? If we were live, you guys would be able to tell me. Professor, you're forgetting about the uh, portability, the carryability. That's how it carries. I think the size is perfect for an urban EDC. Love the blade shape. Um, what did they call this? I don't remember what they call this blade shape. It has like a, 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 a well, it has a swedge right here, right almost right at the tip. And at the same time, it's like, a, what? Drop point. It is like a drop point with a swedge. Uh, the spine is crowned. Jimping a very adequate and very nice jimping that also when you look at it from from the top It just matches this speed holes right there that are like acu uh, acoustic uh, I don't know All in all It's the weight on it is just right Of course it has a, a steel insert and again i'm just going ahead and and talking and talking and not really focusing on all the measurements 150 thousands uh, stock thickness but guess what ten thousands behind the edge so you know that's that's one of the i love that detail when you have such a thick um, stock thickness and and it tapers down to such a thin edge it, it just at least for me it has made uh, the knives that I have like that very versatile very strong knives with a great with great cutting power and slicing power let's wait this sucker oh this fell off Of course, this still has to break in. There we go. Three point three and a half ounces. Three and a half ounces. And 
just the look of it, you know, just take a look at it. It's just elegant, I think. It's a very, uh, like its name, a gents, gents piece. Take a look, look at these uh, uh, standoffs. Giving it strength uh, for the mechanism and, and for how they assemble. And it just feels, by the way, the ergos are great on this knife. And just love this curvature on the blade. Like I said, it's not drop shotty, but I don't mind. There's so much drop shotty knives. Even this space for the, the finger choil and the sharpening choil is crowned. So check out I, details, details. The pocket clip, incredible. Milled, um, just the design on this thing and, and how it's rounded and, and just fits perfectly with the knife, no hot spots whatsoever. Feels great in hand and it's going to um, be so versatile for so many tasks. No, I don't get paid by Riyadh or anyone else. <laughs> I just love the hobby. And of course, using my knives. Sharpie, um, US quarter, two euros, and the number two pencil. We're not in coming in the screen. There we go. The Victorinax Huntsman and the Buck 110. It's, you know, right there in, for an urban EDC. And not only that, I think this is a gents piece. It really looks like, uh, of course, totally a, a user knife. With that cutting, slicing power, I wouldn't doubt to use this folder. Rat 2, Rat 1. Let's have a look from the top. There we go. Check that out. So we have strength, we have aesthetics, we have design, design of course, um, strength, girth, just ergos. Man, man, I wish I could keep them. <laughs> Benchmade bug out. Spyderco PM2. Let's scooch them down. There we go. And let's have a look to the thickness again, because this just looks fantastic. And you know, I, uh, I'm not going to take it apart because I'm not going to be able to keep it. So that's what rotation takes. You know, there's a sacrifice in that. And a learning curve in just letting go. Uh, pretty hard, by the way, pretty hard uh, learning curve, letting go. But this, this is a fantastic knife. A fantastic folder by Riyadh. There's precision everywhere I see here. And um, I've held a few Riyads, but uh, this is one of my favorites. It's so comfortable in hand. It's go going to age fantastic with this, um, this type of titanium, this color of titanium. Uh, the patina is going to uh, age with is going to look as a fantastic, fantastic user. And there's a certain, I don't know, a certain classic uh, 
air to this knife. I don't know how to put it, but it's just, it's going to age well. It's going to be a heirloom and it's just an awesome folder. So that's the Riat Gents 9. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Professor EDC out.